Hello there guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome to Survivor Russia. Today we're going to take a look at a video Mr. Survivor Russia have made. Many guys have requested Mr. Survivor Russia should do more videos and uh, quite a few actually have also suggested that we should make a video on how to make Ivan Chai as it's called in Russian or Ivan tea in English or fireweed tea as it's also called in English. So Mr. Survival Russia have put such a video together quite a long time ago. We came back from the from the camping of course, from the tank camping down at the at the river, our annual spring camping. I'm working on that video so that'll be up as well. We're also having a giveaway which is a little bit delayed. That uh, giveaway I will announce the two winners in uh, the tank camping video. I'm here working on the foundation as you can see. We are just gonna make a little pancake in the center there and a foundation for our Russian stove. So there's not much more to say than uh, check out this video here. Check the links in the description if you're considering supporting the channel with merchandise, PayPal, Patreon, whatnot. YouTube is giving me and uh, others a little bit of a hard time at the moment. I don't know why, what the hell is going on, but uh, that's just how it is. So guys, yeah, enjoy the video. Hi everybody. So this is our plant. In Russian, it's called Ivan Chai. In English, it's known as Ivan tea. You can see it's a pretty tall plant and it grows, uh, likes to grow in abandoned places and just grows wild everywhere here. You could see it in Lars's video uh, from the last trip. The power line trail. The power line trail, yeah. <laughs> so um, our family likes to drink uh, this tea made of uh, leaves of Ivan Chai. That's called like this. So how do I collect it? I just collect it with hands, do like this, collect leaves in one bag and flowers just for decorative purposes they're gonna dry separate in a, in a separate bag so of course it's better to do like this you can see here mm. <laughs> the flowers i'll show you how i dry them afterwards so you have to collect leaves while ivan tea is blossoming speaking of blossoming period you can see all this part of the flower is old flowers right they turn into the seed boxes or seed tubes and we still have the other end for turning into flowers so you can say when this end start blossoming the very end this is the last time where you can still collect leaves i don't know why but this is how we do it so the more you collect the better and this is the basically the whole trick in collecting leaves it's, it's pretty fast then afterwards uh, when i collect all bag of leaves you just have to knead it with hands like this and uh, let it stand for 24 hours and then meat grinder comes so that's it so i've collected the whole bag of leaves of ivan chai i have to break the fibers simply with the hands like this and start fermentation process so here i have a old metal net which uh, we always used for drying mushrooms now i covered it with a cotton fabric i'm collecting flowers for separate drying We are drying it uh, in a few different ways, but I prefer, of course, the natural drying outside in a shadow. So I put it on the already drying mint for now. I had these leaves for fermentation more than 24 hours, actually two days, 48 hours. And you can see it was a full bag of fresh leaves. The amount reduced twice. If you touch them inside, you will feel warm, meaning that the fermentation process started. Well, if I didn't have time yesterday to fix these leaves, so it doesn't hurt anything if they stand two days or even three days, but not longer than that. So you can say leaves are prepared meat grinder so now it's time to put the leaves 
into meat grinder. We used to have a mechanical one and uh, it works fine, but now we are using a electrical one, right? <laughs> We of course have our usual problem with electricity here. We do not have many amps. So you can hear it's, uh, it's struggling, even with these small leaves. And we have two full bags. This tea is gonna be super awesome. This is our product, which will have to go for drying. And that's it. <laughs> and it will turn completely black. It will turn completely black, but this we will show. Yeah, yeah, of course. Later. <laughs> okay, we are drying it in sauna uh -huh. uh, in a, our dark compartment called Pariuka in Russian. It's a steam room. <laughs> yeah, it's a good to fire sauna a little bit, right? And uh, have it laying on some natural fabric. Mm -hmm. And uh, then you collect it in two glass jars and let it stand <laughs> for drinking <laughs> <laughs> so here is 20 liter bucket and you can see this is the amount we got i think it's something around three four maybe five liters from two bags you've seen before so this is a steam compartment of our sauna and uh, we are also using it for drying herbs it's uh, uh, preferable not to have super fast drying. Now we have approximately four liters of processed Ivan tea. I have quite a thick layer. It means that uh, I'll have to come and mix it from time to time because when I'll fire the oven, not too hot of course, I'll have to come and mix the drying parts with the wet parts, you know, of this Ivan tea. So uh, it will take uh, two days and then it's ready for drinking. Three days of natural drying of Ivan tea expired. And you can see it turned almost black. It's ready for drinking. As you can see, it took me quite a while to finish this video. We are a good way into December. And uh, it's a multitasking curse of mom and wife. I'm really sorry for that, guys. Uh, but it's an awesome time to drink a warm, healthy cup of island tea. Out of that portion you've seen before, made in summer, we got uh, something around three liters of a ready-made product. Look at the color. It's really rich and dark brown. I'm pretty sure you'll like the taste of it. Thank you for your time. Thank you for watching.